Hello guys, this is Cool K with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing something quite different. I'm going to be giving you guys a video tutorial on how to make a um, a simple maze game on PowerPoint. Like, the kind of game where you follow a path. If you go off the path, you'll be told you lost and maybe you have to start again. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't take too long to make. Uh, um, of course, for the purpose of time and everything, I'm gonna make a pretty, a pretty simple maze, hardly even a maze, but I'm sure you guys can make more intricate, detailed, amazing masterpieces. But let's just get straight into it. So this is just on normal PowerPoint. I'm using 2010, maybe I don't even know, but just PowerPoint. You can probably do it on any PowerPoint really, as long as it's not too old. But uh, yeah, let's go straight into it. So on the what you're gonna need for your slides is one. You're gonna need a slide for the actual game, so the actual mazy bit. The second, well, okay, no, let's let's do it in order. First slide, you kind of wanna like a slide where the player can click the start button, so the button to start the game and or whatever. So they click that. And then that will lead them to the second slide you're going to have to make, which is the slide for like the actual game. So where the maze is, where they move and like up and through your maze and all that. And then you're going to need need to make a third slide, which is um, the loser slide. Now you can make a fourth slide, which is the winner uh, winner slide. Um, on that slide, you can if you it's optional, you can either just end the game there, or you can decide that there's a button to like the next level where you can like do your stuff um, another maze, another whatever and just have a, a long series but um, I'm just going to show you the simple part of it, the first section and let's just get into it then so the first thing you're going to need is a shape which is the rectangle try not to get the curvy sided rectangle rounded rectangle, just get a normal rectangle and start it right in the corner of your screen and then put it to the bottom corner uh, it doesn't have to be too exact as long as it covers the whole screen like that uh, I think I'm just going to pull it down a bit because there's a little gap there so if I just pull that down there okay so now this is going to be almost like our game board okay so uh, you can make this any colour you want I think I'm going to do the straight down black then I can put like a white uh, white maze thing on top and it'll look pretty cool so now the second thing you want to is another um, shape. I'm going to be using a rectangle. You can really use any shape you want. Make sure it's a solid shape that you can write inside. So I'm going to start now. This this is the start page, okay? The page there where you click the start button to go to the next slide and onto your main game. So where you want the maze to start on the next slide, you're going to want to put this start button on it so you can go straight into it so I'm going to put it in the top right here nice there now I'm going to change the color to say let's let's just have it nice and white uh, put the shape outline as white as well so this is going to be a start button if I just click that and go on to edit text click type in start that's all we need now that that's all we need. Obviously, you can put it in the middle if you want, but I I just feel like putting the side. Um, I recommend putting it in the middle. Oh crap! No, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> anyway, um, so once you've done this, pretty straightforward. You just want to right-click your slide at the side here and click duplicate slide. Now you start and your main game. So the second slide is going to be your main game here. Uh, you might as well, I think, make the full game first, make all the slides, and then you can add the hyperlinks after. So this slide, I'll just make it really simple. So what you're going to do is put rectangles. This is going to be the lane, so this is the actual maze where the person has to keep their mouse on these shapes. Otherwise, they will lose. So if you just make a couple of shapes into a lane kind of thing like this, uh, that should look good. And then at the end, you're going to want another rectangle oh yeah I suggest using rectangles for the lanes rather than any other shape it just works out better because it's nice and straight so if you make another rectangle like that then inside it 
Um, well, let's let's turn it into let's make it white first, like the rest of it. So if I just turn it all white, make it a bit smaller, and then edit text and write finish. Whatever you want, end. I don't care. Well, not I don't care, but just whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, change the text to black, finish, I can't spell finish, wow. Um, okay, uh, change that to white as well, I'm just going to have everything white, nice. Uh, if you do want another colour, so, okay, let's, let's make the, the road thingy red instead. Then what you're going to want to do is make sure these are always on top, as you can see that's overlapping, so just go into bring forwards, click a couple of times and you'll be fine. So now this is the maze, obviously you can make it all detailed and badass, but that's what I'm going to have for now. Uh, and then the next slide, just a new slide. Uh, in fact, forget it. Don't do that. Um, I, I recommend just duplicating this again, and then move that back here. And then you can just put this into the middle and say, either, you lost, you suck. And, oops. Such my god, what is wrong with me? Suck. <laughs> and then if I just duplicate that, now I can say you won. You are you are a badass. Yeah. One word. Let's make it even more badass. Okay, so the, this is the winning screen. This is the losing screen the actual maze, and then the start. So let's start with the start, obviously. Uh, what we're going to want to do is make this into a hyperlink to this slide. So if I just double click that, and then, well, oh, you don't even need to double click it. If I go into insert, now most people are tempted to go on hyperlink, just, just for the um, purpose of this whole tutorial and to keep it uh, easier to understand for the rest of the slides because you will need to use it later. Instead of clicking hyperlink, you want to go on action. Now, if you click that, it will give you the options to either... So, if you click it, something happens, or if you mouse over it, something happens. For now, we're going to want to go on the mouse click. Now, we're going to want to hyperlink it to... I don't recommend using next slide because then you can always... In fact, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I, I won't use left next slide. What you want to do is slide down um, a bit and go to slide. It's, I don't know. I just feel it's more. You, you should do it this way instead, rather than just go on to next slide in case you put you decide to put like a different maze slide before. I don't. I don't know. Just in case. But um, so now, if I uh, uh, so now if you click the start button, if I have five it it'll be a bit messed up so I won't do that now, I'll do that at the end maybe, possibly but if you click that now it'll take you to this slide now the trick of the game to make it so that if you go into this black stuff you'll die is to go into action as you saw mouse over so now as soon as you go onto it it'll start the hyperlink now if I hyperlink that to the slide where it says Lo you suck you lost I mean you lost you suck which is slide 3 as you can see uh, just click OK OK so now when you go into that you've lost if you stay on that you're fine now if we make it so that when you go to the finish you win instantly you go on action mouse over again hyperlink uh, I don't like using the next slide as I've said but go on slide slide 4 the winning slide and bang now you want to turn the you lost slide into like a restart almost. So, um, okay, no, no, no. Let, let's let's get rid of this uh, this slide. I think what you're gonna want to do, in fact, don't get rid of it. Just make it so it's like somewhere near the start, close enough, hey, close enough. So, if I hyperlink, put an action on that, click mouse click or whatever you want, mouse over so you go straight on into it or mouse click, I'm going to put mouse click hyperlink to the slide of the actual maze again so now what you want to do the maze is basically done really um, you can always put a, if you want to make more maze games I mean more mazes and stuff 
then all you have to do is hyperlink that to the next maze and make sure this is over where the start of the next maze is. So that's basically it. it it's it's done. So if I uh, click F5, as you can see, this is our maze game. So when I click that, boom, the maze starts. Now if I go into the black stuff, which is bad, you lost, you suck. So if I click that, and now if I go along here, as you can see, I'm not dying. And you die if I go on the black. So if I go down here, click, go on to the finish, I don't need to click it, it says you on, you are a badass. Now if I made more mazes, I could click that and go on to the next slide. But for now, that's all you need. Um, so have fun creating your own mazes, make some amazing stuff. Um, yeah, have fun with it, or don't have fun with it, it's up to you. But, thanks for watching guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed, um, yeah, see you guys, peace.